After you've been using PowerPoint for a while, you're probably going to develop some personal preferences. How you like to organize the slides in your presentations, the font, the background image, the default text, that type of stuff. If that's the case, wouldn't it be nice to be able to make a set of rules that all the slides you create would automatically follow? That way, you wouldn't have to spend so much time constantly formatting each individual slide. You can do this in PowerPoint using something called the Slide Master. To access the Slide Master, you can either hold down the Shift key and click on the Normal View button down here, or go to the top and click on View, then select Master. Next, select Slide Master. A screen like this should appear. Also, notice the Slide Master toolbar appears as well. It allows you to do things like create new master slides and change their layouts. The Slide Master is sort of like a style guideline for your presentation. It provides the background, which you can see here. If you change it here, it will be the default for your slides. See? It also shows the bullets you will use by default, and the font, text color, and bullet indent. There are two master slides, one for the title slides, the title master, and one for the standard text slides, the slide master. If you make a change on your master, you can apply it consistently and automatically across your presentation, which saves a lot of time. Here is our slide in normal view. We can go to the slide master and change the color of the title font and the size. Now we switch back to the normal view. The changes you made to the master slide carry over to the presentation. Very convenient. You'll notice on the master slide that you can control footers. This is a very useful way of putting in the slide number and date or a confidentiality message on all your slides. And they usually come up by default. But let's say you have to give a presentation on back-to-back -back days, so you decide to take out the date. Go to the Slide Master and delete the date box, and it will be gone from your slides. If you decide you want it back, right-click on your slide background and select Master Layout. You can also find it under the menu Format Master Layout. You will see several check boxes. Just select the date one again, and there you go. That's all terrific, but sometimes you don't want everything exactly the same, right? You might want a different style on the title of one of your slides. Easily done. If you're just making a change to a single slide, you can edit it to override the master settings. Take this slide. Again, all the other titles have the same color, but you want this one even bigger and to stand out. We can just edit it in normal mode. But let's say you want the whole first half of your presentation to have one color background and the second half to have another color. All you have to do is define separate master slides for the two different types of slides you want. From the master view control bar, just click insert new slide master from the slide master toolbar here. Place your cursor 
over the background area and right click select background and choose a color. Now you have a new format for slides. So let's apply it. Go back to normal view and in the slide summary on the left select the slides you want to change by clicking on the first one and then holding down the shift button and clicking on the last one or control clicking on whichever ones you want. Then right click on one of them in the slide summary and select slide design. In the task pane you will see your new design template come up. You can apply it by clicking on it. Your slides will now all change to the new master template you have created. Changes you make to the master slide after you've customized the slide will not affect the slide that you have customized. So be careful about making custom alterations to slides if you're really using master slides. You can also remove images from a background on a particular slide within your presentation without affecting the rest of the slides. Sometimes you just want to take out elements of a master slide, like a picture, to remove images from a background on a specific slide, go to that slide, then click on Format on the menu bar and select Background. This dialog box appears. Select Omit Background Graphics from Master, then click Apply. The background image from the master slide will disappear. Okay, that covers the basics of master slides and should give you a pretty good idea of how to use them. Practice all you like, and when you're ready to move on, you can watch the next video in the series.